All right, just want to run through real quick what my ingredients are. I got my pure honey. I'm using that because uh, most people use sugar, but I'm going to sweeten with honey. Soy sauce, my oyster sauce, toasted sesame seed oil. I got my extra virgin olive oil, my pure baking powder, my cornstarch, and my white wine vinegar. All right, those are my main flavor ingredients. All right, let's get to cooking. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with our meat, cutting up our steak. The main thing you want to do is you want to cut against the grain. As you can see, the grain of the meat runs this way. All right, so we want to cut nice little thin strips of our meat going in a long way. So, like I said, make sure you got a nice sharp knife. We're going to cut nice little thin strips. All right, we got our meat together here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take some of our pure baking powder. Sprinkle some of that in. Just a little bit. We got our cornstarch. All right. Put me a nice little thing of cornstarch. Got our black pepper. A lot of people add salt to this, but uh, they do the salt and the black pepper. But because I'm using soy sauce, uh, like I said, I'm not a salt fan. So, not a salt fan. Got my soy sauce here. A little bit, a little bit of soy in there. All right, and all we're going to do is we're going to mix this up a little bit. Yeah. So what happens is that baking powder, along with that cornstarch, tenderizes your steak. That's what tenderizes your steak. When you wonder how that steak melts in your mouth, it's because of those ingredients, okay? Don't forget, I am an Amazon affiliate. Every tool that I'm using right now, everything that I'm using, you can find on Amazon. I got the links below. And when you purchase what I'm using, then I get a small commission on that. So, if you're going to cook with love, make sure you love your tools. Tools are very important. Okay, we're going to take our meat right here. We're going to set this aside. We're going to probably let this marinate and sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. Let's get our veggies ready. Okay, here we go. We got our veggies ready. Got our green peppers. We got some colored peppers, the red, the yellow, and the orange. We have our ginger here. We got our onion. We got two sticks of celery. Some people don't use celery. Some people use celery. I love the celery because it gives it a different flavor and it gives it that little crunchiness to it even though it's cooked down. We got our skillions. All right, a lot of people call these Asian onions. And I'll show you how we're gonna cut those up. All right, let's get started. The main one that I want to express is my, my ginger. See my ginger right here? Basically what I'm doing with my ginger, all right, is I'm just shaving it off um, with my peeler, okay? And then I'm gonna grind this up uh, into little pieces, just mince it up a little bit. And everything and this will come in later i just want to point that out real quick the rest of everything else is going to be cut up okay i'm going to cut up our veggies and i'm going to do it real quick watch this one two three boom pow surprise okay we got our veggies all cut up look this is very important do not forget this when you are making stir fry Make sure all your veggies are cut and ready to go because once you start cooking this, it's too late to start cutting up veggies, okay? Because your meat is going to be cooking, it's going to brown fast, and you want to start adding the veggies, all right, to your mix, okay? Now you got it. Got our scallions, onions, peppers of different colors. We got our celery. We got our um, ginger minced up, ready with our garlic, okay? Now let's make our sauce. 
So, all right, making our sauce. I got my little bowl. I got my little water in here. All right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take my soy sauce. All right, I'm going to pour me a nice little considerable amount of soy sauce in there. All right. I got my, I use my white wine vinegar. A lot of people have different um, things they use in here. They'll use uh, rice wine. Uh, I like the rice wine vinegar. Just going to give me just one little top of that right there. Gives it that sweet, tart flavor, especially when that honey kicks in. All right. I got my cornstarch. Add my little cornstarch to the mix. All right. I got my roasted sesame oil. Just a little dash of that right there. All right. And I got my oyster sauce. I'm going to add me a little oyster sauce in here. Just a little bit of that right there. All right, all right. And all I'm going to do. Just mix that up. All right, our pan is heating up. I'm going to add me a little oil in there. All right, all right. Okay. I know it's pretty hot. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going to start adding our beef. I'm going to try to lay it flat down, not stacked on each other kind of thing. You don't want them stacked. Now that we got our meat all nice and brown. Okay. All right. Let's cut some veggies. All right. We got our pan heating up. Put us a little oil in here. Like I said, I used the extra virgin olive oil. All right. And heating all up real nice real nice real nice all right I'm gonna bring over throw me some onions in there yeah this is how I'm doing it because uh, I'm not gonna cook a whole lot right now but I'm gonna cook all this today you can believe that so, just want to show you how to get started right quick. All right. Remember I told you about my ginger. Have me some minced up ginger. Get I minced up real quick. All right. There's my ginger. Let's not forget my minced garlic. Okay. Got my minced garlic going on. Okay, now that our veggies have cooked down just a little bit. All right. Yes. Remember our sauce. And that your sauce has been sitting for a while. Now you want to take that and stir it up just a little bit because that cornstarch I get. Get a little heavy on the bottom. All right. 
We're going to pour some of our sauce up in this piece. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That aroma is pure tantalizing. Pure tantalizing on that aroma. Ah, see how my sauce is starting to thicken up? All right. Uh, that's cooking. Now let's add some beef. Some of that nice looking beef to this joint here. All right, all right. Now, ladies and gentle peoples, we've got pepper steak up in here. I'm going to go ahead and turn my little eyelet off. I like this little eyelet. See? Ceramic style. Perfect for cooking simple little meals. Man, will you look at that right there. Best pepper steak this way. All right, ladies and gentle people, sometimes food is all about presentation. Look at that pepper steak. And remember our scallions, our little onions. Now, when you cut these for serving, show you a little trick here. Always cut your scallion to the side. Give them a little angle cut. All right. Give them a little angle cut. All right. Get what I'm saying? Just a little angle cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you are. There you are. Pepper steak. Pepper steak. Some of them call it stir fry. But it's pepper steak. Call it as you wish. Look at that. Look at that, people. Enjoy yourself.